Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a first impression on a recent purchase of mine. It's actually a card holder from Chanel. So before I show you the, the, the card holder and my first impressions, I just like to give you a close up on the holiday edition ribbon and camellia from Chanel. We usually are used to seeing the white camellia, but for the holiday, wrapping that they have they've used the black camellia with gold specks this is also the case for the ribbon it also has gold sort of gold glitters and um, some design on it and you can also read the word Chanel so now I'm just going to do semi unboxing for the package but if you want to do a real unboxing I have a video for the actual unboxing my impression on the dust bag it's actually really high-end it's not the regular dust bag that we're used to it has a velvety feel to it and it's like double-sided so you have the soft buttery velvet front part and a fabric inner lining. What I noticed with the initial packaging for the card holder is usually this thing here is fabric, but for some reason they decided to go with just regular paper. So they have that. I also have my tags here and the care care instructions as well so i'm not going to delve into that because this is actually the first impression of the item itself and the first slot they have this card here the slip at the back and the authenticity card with the number at the back which i'm not going to show and two card holders for the inside so my initial impressions is this is such a classic case I preferred the caviar with gold hardware because I intend to really use this card holder I don't want to go with a lambskin and I, I need to think about how I'm using it and I think about the scratches that I'm going to get so I preferred the caviar because as some people said it's quite sturdier compared to the regular lamp to the lambskin so the double c interlocking has a shiny gold hardware and if you can notice the puff is there sometimes i've seen a lot of reviewers wherein the puff isn't really showing but for me i compared it to my bag the puff is not as puffy as the one that i have for my bag but it's all right now you have this one slit here and one huge compartment inside mine is it says made in italy and then you have the chin the chanel stamp here and i think in here is the, the the sticker this wallet this card holder that i have has the slip in the back i'm not sure if this is still called the mona lisa smile because i know from the previous card holders the mona lisa smile is a little bit shorter and it's not really usable for now they did a really full slit so anyone who knows this if you can just comment down in the comment sections below is this a mona lisa st smile still or is it just a regular slip so overall, first impression, it's really looking very pretty, very nice. So how do I intend to use it? I think what I'm going to do is for the front part, I'm just going to add my ID here, my driver's license. And then at the back, because I really don't want to use this up, a lot and I don't want to have a gap in here I'm just going to maybe use my subway card because the subway card is a little bit thinner than most and 
I was thinking that I was supposed to be getting the XL, but I've been trying to find out where the XLs are. Right now, I think this is the only compartment that I can have at the boutique. The card, XL card holder, I think, is from last year or two years ago. I Then I realized that the XL has is a bit taller and proportionate this is more proportionate for me i think so because i thought that if i had two compartments here one would be for the most used cards and then the rest would be for my not so most used cards but let's see how many cards will fit so i'm going to try to see if we can fit as much um i don't know how this is my first time too so i'll try to just put as much as i can in one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see if it, if it can still close. So ten, you can still close. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 15. Let's see. 15 won't close, and then as you can see, it's already bunching up. So I'll try to get two. So that's 13, 13 cards. So 13 plus 14, my driver's license, and then 15, the Metro card. So overall, like 15, but then it's really bunching up, and I don't think I want that. Because realistically, I wouldn't be bringing 15 cards. For me, I think maximum, I'll be bringing my four used cards. So I'll just pretend I have four cards here. I'll put the cards in front, so that's four. And then just bring in a couple of bills because although I don't really use cash a lot these days, I still prefer having cash inside my wallet just so I have cash just in case for some reason cards won't work or at least I have something. So again, this is going to be my subway card, my driver's license, my the four most used cards and my bills it's perfect fit because if you put a lot then a bunch of like this part here extends and you don't want to do that because i might disfigure the card holder in the long run so first impression looking very pretty looking very nice i'm excited to use this every day and i'll be back in a couple of months to to uh, film a wear and tear and pros and cons once I've been able to make use of this really nice piece. For those of you who are thinking of buying the Chanel card holder and the classic flap version, I definitely suggest you go for it. This is a good introdu introductory foray into the house itself. Um, I know the bags are a little bit pricey, but if you want to have the Chanel experience and at the same time enjoy the quality leathers that they have, this is a very good opportunity and this is a, a good gift for yourself. Very nice indeed. A very classic piece that you can add to your collection. Overall, first impression, 100% satisfied with the classic Chanel card holder. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!